Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy, First Assembly of God in Burlington, Kansas. It is the 21st of March. How are you doing this wonderful day? What a great, great morning. And uh, so I'm just going to invite some people in here and uh, call it good, good, good day. So... <clears throat> Good morning, Kevin. Ah, what a great day. So, today's verse is John 16, 33. And uh, it says this. It says, I have told you these things so that in me you have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. I, I was reading that this morning and I was just like, you will have trouble. But take, take heart. Um, you uh, so that in me you may have peace. In this world you have trouble. Guaranteed that we'll have trouble. Good morning, Allison. Um, you'll have trouble. You'll have so know that um, there's peace in the Lord. <laughs> I think it, I think we should recognize, accept. Uh, don't be surprised. Um, that we're going to have problems. We're going to have speed bumps. We're going to have uh, things in our life that's just going to happen. We can't change it, but we can know that as long as we rely on the Lord, he can give us peace because definitely he's the peace that passes all understanding and that he can get us through. I love it. There's, uh, I love the statement is that the Lord is our crutch. And yeah, because it says the, that we can lean on him, right? And I'm just thinking, yeah, that's so true. I can lean on him during every circumstances. He is my strength when I am weak. He is the very ability that I can when I can't make it uh, he is he is the ability to get me through and he's my wisdom when I don't know what to do he is he, he is he is all that I need and more you know and and so I'm just thinking wait a minute um, I love this it's a promise it's a promise uh, in this world you will that's a promise you will have trouble but it also says um but take heart, take heart that this is, uh, that he has already overcome the world. You know, he is already uh, taking care of it. He, so just hold on, you know. Uh, there's just, you, you can get through it. And so I'm just thinking, man, how amazing God is that he's already told you you're going to have trouble, but take heart in him that he's already, overcome the world and he's already has the ability to get you through it um, it's where faith comes in it's where trusting him in every circumstance right is saying okay God I'm in this in this distress I'm in this trouble I'm in this this dark place I'm in this I don't know what to do place I'm but okay I'm going to trust you. I'm not, I'm, I'm just going to settle in in your peace because the scripture says that you've already overcome the world. I'm just going to follow the footsteps. I'm going to do what I need to do using wisdom that comes from you to get through this. But unfortunately, sometimes we as humans, and I always use this, uh, I've used this statement so many times that I know it's just, it might be mundane because you probably heard it, but we as humans, we try to fix it ourselves. We, we say, okay, I can do it. And then when, because we haven't prayed about it, we just reacted. Uh, it's called reactionary. We just react. We, the first thing that comes to our mind, we react. We, we jump in with both feet and we don't even pray about it. We just do it. We react. Um, 
and we say, okay, I'm just going to do it my way. And then when it doesn't always work out, then we go to prayer. It should be swapped around and saying, okay, I'm going to go to prayer first and I'm going to pray through and then I'm going to ask and I'm going to ask God what I need to do to get through. And that's how it's going to all work out. I'm going to start with prayer, trust the Lord and, and let him give my wisdom. And if I'm ill, I'm going to go to the doctor, but I'm going to also pray through that as well. I'm going to also listen to the Lord's word. And if I'm having financial problems, I'm going to be praying through that whole thing as well. I'm going to pray and do my very best at work. I'm going to open my checkbook. I'm going to pray over that. I'm going to be praying, Lord, help me pay every bill. Every time I need to pay a bill, I'm going to say, God, you, you know what I need this month. Lord, help me. Whatever it may be, my kids, I'm going to pray over those every single day. You know, you know it's it's such a, a grass. It's the first thing that should we should do. We should pray read our word we should trust the lord with all our heart mind and soul um, it's a promise that we're going to have trouble but how we react to that um, and trust the lord because he's already overcome it that's what the word says and know that we can make it through but he's our peace giver the world's not the world's just going to keep on failing us so whatever's going on um just trust him it's amazing <clears throat> so get out your notebook this is a bible study and write this verse out john 16 33 i'm reading in the niv today i have told you these things so that in, in me you may have peace in this world you will have trouble but take heart i have overcome the world Write that verse out. Put an O, observe it. A, apply it to your life. P, pray. So, um, have that prayer. That we're, if you have any prayer requests, put it in the common area. If it's private, go ahead and message me. If you're watching us on YouTube or our church website, um, go ahead and uh, email me at b1agks at gmail.com. Also, on our church website, I just we just started uh, online giving, so if you ever wondered about that, we just uh, started that yesterday. So if you ever thought about supporting the church, uh, no pressure. We just uh, put a link on there at the bottom of the page. Um, just wanted to put that out there. Um, that's that's there as well. I just want to. I'm just going to need to talk about it because it's at the bottom of the page, and so. <clears throat> Also, this is the last devotional for the week. It's Thursday. Tomorrow is um, uh, my day off, and it's great. We're starting a new series this Sunday, so if you live in Coffee County, Burlington area, come and join us for a service at 1030 on Sunday. Uh, it's going to be a great, great service. We're starting uh, a new series called The Blessed Life. If you want to know how to have a blessed life, come and join us at 1030. Uh, this Sunday at First Assembly of God, Burlington, Kansas, corner of 9th and Yuba, 416 South 9th here in Burlington, Kansas. would love to have you. So let's pray. Lord, I thank you so much for today. I pray that you bless, bless everyone that's watching now, those who are watching later. I pray that you encourage them. Lord, I pray for the unspokens that we all have. I pray that you encourage them. I pray that you, you just answer them, Lord, whether it's health, financial, Lord, whatever it may be. Lord, you know exactly what they are. I pray for Abby today, Lord, as she goes through her day and the group that she's working with, keep them safe as they're in Panama. Lord, I thank you for them, Lord. I pray that you bless, bless today, Lord God. Give us the opportunity to share the gospel with uh, those that, uh, that we come in contact with. Lord, may we be a blessing to those that we come in contact with, Lord, in your name. Amen. Have an awesome day. Love you guys. Hope to see you on Sunday. If I don't see you on Sunday, I'll see you next Monday. God bless you. Have a great rest of the week.